what's going on. So uh, what we're doing here today is after we had processed this leaf, doing a fermented plant juice method uh, with the sugar, of course, we squeeze it all, get all the juice, and then we put this into a vat and use water and effective microorganisms. And they sit in there and get a little bit more extracted and empower some of the other microbes. And then we dump this onto a plastic sheet and then we dry it out in the sun. And then from here we process this into a usable product for the worms to eat and live within. I'll show you guys one of the bins that we're using right now. So we have bins here. And this is a mix. This is this is a we have 50-50. Almost like a 75-25. And this is a hundred percent. And uh, they love it. They they like what I do with it. I think what happens is the sugar and all the extraction and all the EMs eating the leaf makes it really a valuable protein for the bugs. And I noticed that they it actually go for the polonia leaf more than the bran. So that's exciting news. So that's why I decided to start harvesting this and uh, creating uh, the substrate for the bugs to continue living and thriving in this medium because it's regenerative. I take this from street. Everything here, everything we are growing in the field gets turned back into uh, carbon sequestering because I'm turning this into a fertilizer, which I have right here. You can see right there this is what it turns into from this leaf to here. The whole process and I also get fermented plant juices, I get fertilizing abilities and I have inoculation abilities of biochar. So we're going to make biochar, put everything back into the leaf, put that in the ground. It's, it's going to be beautiful. It's completely regenerative. It's a complete circle closed loop and this is what, this is the future. This is what we should all strive to achieve if we're going to be dealing with agriculture uh, and our waste and everything else. So that we should just be like that. I would say this is a good path forward, so.